Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. Today is November 14, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. Before we get started I would like to announce a special broadcast that will be coming up this Saturday, November 15, on Vital Brad's YouTube channel. He will be doing a one-on-one -on -one discussion match you do not want to miss with dinner investor, so be sure and look out for that video. I put Brad's channel link as well as dinner investors link in the description below this video. Be sure to subscribe to their channels while you are there, they post a lot of great information packed videos in regards to this investment. You don't want to miss this one. First article of interest. Barzania Lawi. The region supports any amendment to the constitution described by part of Iraq. 2019 to 14 November 1213. The head of the Iraqi platform, Iyad Alawi, discussed in his office on Wednesday evening with the president of the Kurdistan region, Nekirvan Barzani, and his accompanying delegation the current situation in the country and the amendments in the constitution. A statement from Alawi's office received a copy of the agency, Euphrates News, that the meeting discussed in detail the file of protests and the repercussions of the current situation, and stressed the need to speed up the response to the legitimate demands of the masses. The two sides warned against continuing to confront these demonstrations with violence and stop the bloodshed and bring those responsible to the competent courts. With regard to the file to amend the constitution, Barzani stressed to Alawi and those present at the meeting that the region supports any amendment in the interest of Iraq and the Iraqis as Kurdistan part of Iraq, explaining the importance of resolving the laws of oil and gas and the distribution of wealth and the federal court and other laws that would serve the country. Next article of interest. Government. The 2020 budget includes the transfer of all lecturers for decades. 1328, 14th November 2019 Baghdad, the official spokesman for the Information Office of Prime Minister Saad al-Hadithi, on Thursday, that the budget law for next year 2020 will include the conversion of all lecturers into contracts. Al-Hadithi said in a statement reported by the Iraqi news agency, INA, and saw at comma information that 45,000 in the Ministries of Defense and Interior have been revoked their contracts in the Ministries of Interior and Defense, stressing, securing financial allocations to them, and there is no problem out of 154,000 until this moment will be secured in next year's budget. He added that, the government has an emergency reserve spent in the current budget to trillion dinars have been spent on the special grades for graduate engineers, as well as grants to be given to three months for the unemployed estimated 300,000 unemployed. Al-Hadithi explained that the unemployed will receive monthly grants for three months to qualify them for their entry into the market through support, assistance, facilities, loans and the opening of plots for the establishment of workshops in small and medium-sized industrial projects. Thousands. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Integrity. Parliament will question four ministers this month. 1626, 14 November 2019 Baghdad, the Parliamentary Finance Committee, on Thursday, that the House of Representatives will question four ministers in the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi this month. Committee member Ali Anasif said in a statement to Alma Aluma that the interrogation process will start with the ministers of industry and agriculture which were set at 23 and 28 of this month, pointing out that the House of Representatives will question four ministers before the end of this month. She added that the Parliamentary Integrity Committee sent a request to the Presidency of the Parliament to determine the date of questioning Minister of Electricity Luca Adab, as well as collecting parliamentary signatures to question the Minister of Oil Thay Mergadbin, noting that the House of Representatives in the process of collecting files to question the ministers negligent. 
the M before the Reform Alliance Rod al Maksousi, the day before Tuesday, the existence of a broad parliamentary movement to set next week a date for the questioning of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Next article of interest. Deputy. Blaskart meeting with heads of blocks. Did not dictates and views convergent. 1145, 14th November 2019 Baghdad. MP from the Bloc Sadiq and Mohammed Baldway, Thursday, that the meeting of the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations Janine Blatchart was in the Constitutional Hall in the presence of the Presidency of the Parliament and heads of political blocs, adding that the meeting was not dictated as described by some and that the views of the parties were convergent. Al-Bal Dawi said in a statement to the information that members of the House of Representatives were hoping to meet the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations Janine Blaskart in front of all members of the Council, but she requested that the meeting only between members of the Presidency of the Parliament and heads of political blocs and actually the meeting was in the Constitutional Hall. He added that the meeting was a spirit of frankness and that the views between the parties were convergent and there were no dictations by Blaskart as claimed by some. Al-Bal Dawi said that Blaskart and the parliamentary party have unanimously confirmed the rejection of any external interference in the crisis and the solution must be Iraqi as well as the role of the United Nations should be technical and a moderate presence. Next article of interest. Abdul Mahdi discusses with parliamentary integrity. To end the file of agencies and the fight against corruption. 1654, 14th November 2019 Baghdad. Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi discussed on Thursday with the chairman and members of the Parliamentary Integrity Committee anti-corruption files and ending the work of the agency. The Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi received the chairman and members of the Parliamentary Integrity Committee to discuss the role played by the Commission on Integrity and Cooperation in the fight against corruption and the preservation of public funds and to implement reform decisions and measures, the office said. Agency's Termination File The committee affirmed its support for the government's efforts to combat corruption, dismantle its system and expose corrupt persons. The statement said that the meeting was attended by the chairman of the Higher Commission for Coordination between the provinces, Dr. Erhan Mufti. Next article of interest. Parliament sets six laws to vote on in the next session. 2019 to 11 to 14, 1759 Baghdad. The presidency of the House of Representatives sets six laws to vote on in the next session. A parliamentary source for Euphrates News that the presidency of the parliament sets six laws to vote on the next session, namely Integrity and Graft Law Amendment of the Law of Provincial and District Councils Proposed Abolition of Concessions Law Unified Retirement Law Health Insurance Law Committee Law Olympic Next article of interest Political blocks deliberately postpone Where do you get this? And procrastinate in the election law Baghdad November 14, 2019, Wafa, al Fatah MP, Hassan Arab, revealed on Thursday, November 14, 2019, that there are consultations inside the House of Representatives on the law. Where do you get this? Pointing out that it seems hasty and holds vague paragraphs. Arab lawmakers said the law faces some objection to its provisions. Arab said that the meeting of the legal committee decided to postpone to get him out properly, noting that the adoption of this form hurts a segment of citizens. On the health insurance law, Arabs stressed that the law contains 57 articles. He added, the previous laws were put through the government, but the laws of today were established within the parliament or the presidency because of public pressure. Arabs pointed out, Send 111 laws from the government to parliament, all of which are financial, and cannot be approved only with the approval of the government, citing the inclusion of a paragraph in the budget to redissolve their contracts, and the appointment of holders of certificates, while the government overturned that, because a surplus in the state budget. Arabs pointed out that the presidency is the one who decides to send laws to the committees, and there are some laws have been disabled or postponed because of the current circumstances, 
including the elections law and the abolition of privileges. The public pressure on the government and parliament was a real motive to calm the street, as well as the adoption of laws to suit the aspirations of the demonstrators, he said. Forces to circumvent the crisis the political forces benefiting from the current political map guaranteeing their positions and privileges focus on promoting a caretaker government, in conjunction with setting a date for early elections, knowing that it is gaining time, to maintain the current political situation, and not be able to move them from their positions of influence. The sources said that political forces deliberately drained solutions in the election of a new prime minister, and make it a late step preceded by the complex arrangements for the implementation of Article 64 of the Constitution, which includes the dissolution of the House of Representatives, at the request of a third of its members, or a request from the Speaker Ministers and with the approval of the President of the Republic. Until the President of the Republic, upon dissolution of the Council of Representatives, calls for general elections in the country within a maximum period of 60 days from the date of dissolution, the Council of Ministers shall continue to conduct daily matters, which means that these parties and forces shall continue to be at the center of the decision. This could be explained by its keenness to slow the election of a new prime minister. Indeed, sources told al Masala that these forces are striking the caretaker government because it will be concerned with it where it has the opportunity to pass interests and centers of influence again, taking advantage of the comp provided by the caretaker government, which is right it is meant to be void. It is worth mentioning that the Constitution does not contain a clause on the resignation of the Prime Minister, as Article 18 refers to the vacancy of office for any reason whatsoever, and this vacancy was not limited to no confidence only from the Prime Minister. In order to stop the circumvention of political forces that are enthusiastic about the caretaker government, the president must pay attention to this, and exercise his right to appoint another candidate for prime minister within a period not exceeding 15 days, as stipulated in the Constitution, thus blocking the road to the forces which is struggling today, to turn the caretaker period, into a golden opportunity to pass what you could not in the government of Adel Abdul Mahdi. It calls on important political parties through the obelisk to find an immediate alternative to the prime minister, as the rebellious youth, the duty not to accept otherwise, and realize that the caretaker government, a political plot, must not pass. Next article of interest, Associated Press, Iraqi demonstrators are looking for oil money. 11-13-14th November 2019 Baghdad Iraqi leaders are not yet ready to reform the system, which experts say is unsustainable due to lack of resources and excessive dependence on volatile oil markets. Next article of interest. Names. Legal expert determines the replacements of the three Iraqi presidencies in the event of resignation. 2019 to 14 November 4 hours 14 minutes and 14 seconds Baghdad. Legal expert Eric Harb said on Thursday that there will be no constitutional vacuum with the resignation of the three presidencies at the behest of the demonstrators in Iraq. Harb said in a statement today that, what has been happening since weeks of the demonstration took the nature of continuity and it is safest to provide solutions to the demonstration and try to please the demonstrators and achieve something that can be dramatic so that the current reality to another reality. He added that, the resignation of the three presidencies can be a real solution to the current reality and does not result in the resignation of any constitutional vacuum or real turmoil. Because the resignation of the Prime Minister entails the assumption of Anger Gadbin his deputy and the resignation of the Speaker of Parliament entails the assumption of Al-Kabi deputy to this position and the resignation of the President of the Republic, Parliament will elect a new President. The parliament also elects a new president and a new prime minister because the resignation of the prime minister constitutionally means the resignation of the government and the caretaker administration of his deputy is angry. The prime minister left work until the parliament elects a new prime minister and new ministers. The capital Baghdad, and a number of provinces with a predominantly Shiite demonstration since the beginning of last October to protest the deterioration of service and living conditions 
and the spread of unemployment within the community and the spread of financial and administrative corruption in state institutions and departments. Demonstrators rose to the sack of the current federal government headed by Adel Abdul Mahdi and the removal of political parties that emerged after 2003, and go to early elections in Iraq under the auspices of the United Nations. More than 300 protesters were killed and about 15,000 wounded during clashes with security forces in different parts of the country. Next article of interest, Amar al-Hakim to the U.S. Ambassador, the need to be a purely Iraqi solutions away from outside interference. The head of the Wisdom Movement, Mr. Amar al-Hakim, on Thursday, the need to be a purely Iraqi solutions to resolve the country's crises away from foreign interference. Mr. Hakim said in a statement received, Euphrates News, a copy, we reiterated the need to be a purely Iraqi solutions to all crises of the country away from outside interference, as we pointed out during our meeting with U.S. Ambassador to Baghdad Matthew Toller that the national wisdom stream the reform steps taken by the government as an opposition stream and to meet the demands of the demonstrators. Mr. Hakim added, we also stressed the importance of protecting peaceful demonstrators and providing a safe environment for the exercise of their constitutional right, and the need to hold accountable the perpetrators of the loss of life and the loss of victims. In turn, the U.S. ambassador stressed respect for the will of the Iraqis and their ability to solve their internal problems, noting that the speech of the highest religious authority on the non-interference of states in the Iraqi issue is respected and appreciated is over. Next article of interest. Ministry of Planning. Iraq's debt for 2019 amounted to $115 billion and the unemployment rate 13.8 percent. 14th November, 2019 The Ministry of Planning announced that Iraq's debt for 2019 amounted to $115 billion stressing that the government should direct loans and debt to investment development outputs while noting that the unemployment rate in Iraq reached 13.8%. Iraq's debts for 2019 amounted to $115 billion, of which $43 billion is internal and $72 billion, Ministry spokesman Abdul Zahru al-Hindawi said in a press statement. They belong to the Gulf countries and other countries that were borrowed by the former regime during its wars. He added, these debts, Whatever their size, are a burden on the current and future generations and the state must fulfill its obligations towards these debts and the benefits arising from them. For the war on ISIS, which reflected negatively on development and investment, which was considered by the Ministry of Planning in its five-year budget in order to make the most of these loans to achieve comprehensive development in Iraq. Next article of interest. Parliament votes on 24 articles of the health insurance law. 14th November, 2019. Parliament voted in today's session on 24 articles of the health insurance law. A parliamentary source said that Parliament voted on only 24 articles of the health insurance law and resume voting once the opinion of the government on the financial obligations included in the law. Next article of interest. Raffidane. Continue to distribute the salaries of employees and retirees without interruption. 2019 to 14 November 823 Baghdad. Al Rafidain Bank announced on Thursday that it will continue to pay the salaries of employees, retirees, and owners of private outlets through its branches in Baghdad and the provinces. The bank has sufficient liquidity to distribute the salaries of employees, retirees, and the entitlements of the owners of private outlets offices in other categories without interruption after large sums of money have been allocated to feed its branches, the bank's media office said in a statement. He called on the bank, employees and retirees to visit its branches or any entity on receive their salaries at any time. More articles of interest to come. Hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now.
the Denarian.